I can make the interaction with the computer go the other way, where I am actually reading text from the file instead of writing it. In this case, I'm going to start by editing the text that was in the datafile.txt file. So I've changed what it says. I'm now going to save that in the file. Here's the code that I'm going to use to read from the text file. Once again, I open the file object. However, this time I use the argument rt which means that I'm going to be reading text instead of writing text. And once again, I specify the character encoding. In order to read information in from the file, I use the read method on that file object. And the output of the read method, I can then assign to a variable. Once I've finished all of the reading that I want to do from the file, then I can perform the close method on the file and then I'm ready to take the contents of the variable and print it on the screen. Let's go ahead and run that and we can see that what I typed into the file is what it is displaying on the screen. In the same way that I could uh, make a shortened version of this code with the write method, I can also use a shortened version with the read method. Once again, I have this with open as file object statement. The only difference being that this time I use RT instead of WT. Then I have a colon and an indented code block. And this time I perform the read method on the file object. The read method does not have any arguments because it's going to read whatever is coming out of that data file. And then the data that it reads from the file is going to assign to the variable read text. Once the indented code block is completed, it will automatically perform the close method on the file object. I don't have to put this line in the code when I use with open as. It will automatically close the file and then I can take the text which I assigned to that variable and print it out on the screen. So let's go ahead and change the text to something else. And save it. Now when we run this code, we see that the new text that I saved into the file does get read. One of the questions that you may have in your mind is, how did I know that that was where the data file would be saved at? In this case, it's saved in my downloads directory, but how do I know that and not that it's going to be somewhere else? And how am I going to find the data file if I'm using Colab, which doesn't even work on my own computer, but rather works inside the cloud? This is a more complicated question and the topic of the next several videos in this series.